Hey, y'all heard it. We was in talking about it. This is going to be the last piece right here. This is the finale, all right? 14th piece. Um, we were talking about the Super Bowls and the Patriots and um, the, the Eagles. Eagles. Okay. And, and um, uh, I'm not going to go through all the Super Bowls, but I mean, I'm going to tell you about this Super Bowl uh, with the Patriots. Now, the Patriarchs, of course, is a patriarch spirit, you see. Okay. It represents their Hercules, okay, versus our Haru. Okay, so uh, they had the Super Bowl. They, for one thing, the patriarchs went through the whole royal family, which is the patriarchic spirit or the system taking down the royal family, as I just described to okay. you. First, they took down the realms. The patriarchs took down the realms, which was taking down what Aries or the prince, right? The black sun. Okay. okay? Then they took down. Um, the um, was it? I don't know who was first. I think they took down the the. Uh, the, the, the matriarch or the queen when they beat North Carolina, when the Patriots beat North Carolina. And they Charlotte, right, queen they, city. the Queen City. They took down the patri matriarch. And that's why they did the Janet Jackson thing, the matriarch and the patriarch. The young boy, Justin Timberlake, right. exposing and humiliating the matriarch. And the, that was what that was all about, mm -hmm. taking down the, the patriarch, taking down the matriarch. Okay. okay. Then they took down the king when the patriarchs played the eagles. You see, the heir is always the father. So the eagles represented the father. Now, and then when it came to the daughter, that was Pittsburgh, they wasn't trying to take her down. They was trying to woo her over to their side. You know, they wanted her power, mm -hmm. okay? So, but going back to the father, when the Patriots took down the father or the ego, in this Super Bowl, you know, I was trying to find the symbolism. So it was during the halftime performance that I was able to pick up the clues. They, for one thing, they they had Earth, Wind, and Fire, they had Alicia Keys, and they had the Black Eyed Peas mm. performing. Okay, so I was like, dang, what is this saying? And then the title of that Super Bowl program was called Bridging Generations, and then it stood out at me as I look and saw bridging genes okay bridging genes this is where they came out with the hybrid car yep. okay yep. and yep. then turns around and you look at okay alicia keys hybrid, hybrid. black eyed peas hybrid yeah or the mixture the mixture okay and i kept saying but what is this with earth wind and fire what is this with earth wind and fire the elements yeah so what how is that symbolic of this genetic you know uh splicing earth the daughter right air the father the father fire fire the, the son. son who's missing the daughter no nope. the water the mama the black mama the black mama the water's missing the black mama is missing out of the earth wind and fire scenario that's how you create hybrids. You have to take the black mama out. Uh, you know, any because anything that goes into black mama comes out black. Right. <laughs> so they had to bring a white woman in. She creates hybrids because she has no color. So whatever seed that you plant in her, her child is going to take the appearance of the seed. But it's still... What did I say? Your origins. Your mama indicates where your genes originated at. We can go all the way back to the antiquity of our origination of genes through the black mama. Mm -hmm. But you can't go there through the white mama. She does not supply. See, it's the mother's role to supply the color gene. Okay? Mm. And if the mother has no color, then the, that gene is silent on color. Now, it appears the father's seed will flavor you know, it's just like having a bucket of white paint and dropping two drops of black in there, you see. So you're going to get a coloring because it's white, but you still, what is the still basis of that? Right. It's white, you see. So that's what they had to remove, the black mama out of the scenario in order to create hybrids. That's by putting a black seed in a white incubator, you see. So it'll come out looking like something it's not. And that's why we've got a proliferation of hybrids now, you see, you know, that is just, um, just overwhelm the media, you see. 
uh, you know, like I said, Alicia Keys, uh, Beyonce, uh, 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 Halle Berry, girl, Obama, girl over there, uh, Jordan girl. Sparks, uh, yeah, Jordan Sparks and uh, uh, um, uh, Mariah Carey. I mean, that's all you're seeing now, right? Oh, and this was the whole premise behind uh, Beyonce and Etta James, okay? Now, remember, they got into a war because Etta James, you know, she um, she made that song, At Last, you know, you know the song I'm talking about? No. Okay, when Beyonce played Etta James in the movie Cadillac, Cadillac Records. Records, okay, she, uh, so then at the inauguration, they had, Obama had, Beyonce come and sing that song at last. Now I can't sing, so I can't give the tune to you. But I know the people know what I'm talking about here. Uh, that song at last. She sang it at the inauguration uh, in place of Etta James, who right. popularized that song. You see, and that's why Etta James said, "I don't like Beyonce, and why would you go and get her when I still live?" Yeah, I could have done the song. I mean, why use an imitator? When the original is still there, you see. The so you know, just because she played me in the movie, don't mean you had to use her in the inauguration. But she also said, "I don't like Obama." But so a uh, Beyonce came back during the uh, uh, BET Awards and sang the song again, just to flip off, you know, Etta James. Then they had Etta James doing the song on the vacuum cleaner commercial at last. And so the thing is, is that. Now, Etta James has a black mama but a white daddy, where Beyonce has just the opposite, a white mama with a black daddy or a, a white grandmama. Right. Okay? Right. Uh, and so the thing is, is, so Beyonce is really the hybrid, but Etta James is authentic because her mama was black. Okay? So that's what they're trying to do, replace the authentic with the hybrid or the imitator, you see. So that was the whole premise behind that little scenario there, you see. We have given y'all uh, the roles of the royal black family. We've introduced the hybrids and we've told you, watch for the hook. Watch for the hook. Because the Myra done gave you the warning, watch for the hook. They see they're trying to constantly keep you distracted by the illusion all you have to do is not is choose to not participate. Once every time that you're having a problem, some frustrations, it's because you're participating in the illusion. When we see these things and you're blaming the cops, you're blaming you're, you're blaming this white pig. You, everything is based upon your own reality. You create your own reality. So you blaming somebody else is really signifying that you're not taking responsibility. Right. The, and we don't know everyone's karma for what was going on for these certain things to happen to them. Absolutely. Because they're not hunting us no more. They want their woman back. She already right. told us. Right. So they're not hunting us to see how many blacks they can kill anymore. Okay? So get that out your mind. Uplift the black woman. Hit repeat on a lot of these tapes so you can see it again. Tell your friends. And we appreciate y'all for those who stuck around to the end. Stay true to the black family. That's the number one agenda. Stay true to your blackness, you see. Like, uh, what's his name, Claude Anderson said, when I went to the, my mama went to the, the doctor, when she found out she was pregnant, she knew that I was black before she knew I was male or female, you see. So black first, you see. And if you stay true to black first, you, you will always be in the right uh, position. We welcome your comments. We're going to holler at y'all until we see y'all again. We love y'all family. We love y'all black family. Peace. <laughs> Hotel. <laughs>